Frédéric Joliot Curry was born in Paris, France on March 19, 1900. He earned his education in the School of Chemistry and Physics of the city of Paris. His father was a merchant named Henri Joliot and his mother was Mary Roderer. Frederick began to work for Marie Curie at the Radium Institute in 1925. Later in 1926, Frederick married Irene Curie, the daughter of Mary Curie. The two had a daughter named Helen. Frederick Joliot Curie received his Doctor of Science degree in 1930 for having prepared a thesis on the electrochemistry of radio elements. Additionally, Frederick and his wife Irene collaborated in continuous research on the structure of the atom. In 1934, Frederick and Irene made their greatest accomplishment with the discovery of artificial radioactivity. They achieved the discovery of artificial radioactivity by bombarding boron, aluminum, and magnesium with alpha particles. Through this, Frederick and Irene produced the isotope 13 of nitrogen, isotope 30 of phosphorus, isotope 27 of silicon, and isotope 28 of aluminum. These isotopes they produce are not found in nature, and the isotopes de decompose spontaneously through the emission of electrons. For this discovery and experiment, Frederick and Irene won the Nobel Peace Prize for Chemistry in 1935. He later became a lecturer in the Paris Faculty of Science in 1935. Devoted towards his work in nuclear chemistry, he became professor at the College de France in 1937, where he built the first cyclotron in Western Europe. After the discovery of fission of uranium nuclei, he began working on chain reactions and the construction of an atomic pile using uranium and heavy water. The advancement of German forces in 1940 made it difficult for Joliot Curie to work, but he managed to smuggle a lot of his findings into England. In 1946, he became the first High Commissioner for Atomic Energy and in 1948 he furthered his research in the atomic pile and constructed the first French atomic pile. In addition, Joliot Curie was awarded the Hughes Award in 1947 for his original discovery of artificial radioactivity. After Irene Joliot Curie died in 1956, Frederick took her position as chair of nuclear physics. Frederick Joliot Curie was a man of many accomplishments and he also had great success throughout his career. Frederick Joliot Curie passed away in Paris, France on August 14, 1958 after working on a center for nuclear physics for the last few years of his life.